welcome to video tutorial 17. Um, this is a bit of a, a loose end. We looked at uh, using images before and we looked at using images from the Easy Sketch Pro image library. This uh, video is just to um, handle using images, your own images, uh, that didn't come with Easy Sketch Pro. Um, and you can do that, but there are a few caveats uh, which I'll show you. But in simple terms, to actually use one of your own images, you come up here again to the Add Image button, you click on that, and that opens the image library. Um, if we want to use one of our own images, we come down here to Load Image from PC. And you click on that, and this is the Picture Importer. Uh, to find the file, click on this folder option, navigate to the image that you want to use, um, now, this is where uh, you have to uh, be a bit careful. Uh, the best type of image to use in EasySketch Pro are uh, vector images, uh, which are images with an ex a file extension of .svg. Um, uh, I won't go into the technical details of it, but vector images uh, store the sort of information in the file, the image file, that enables EasySketch Pro to draw the image uh, correctly and to the best effect. It's got that information in it. Um, you can import and use um, uh, .png um, and .jpg files uh, or .jpeg files, JPEGs and ping uh, images, um, but you'll get variable results. I mean sometimes uh, you'll get a good result and sometimes uh, you won't get such a good result. It really depends. I mean, Easy Sketch Pro will do its best to interpret the image, but in the absence of the specific information you get in a vector file, um, it's going to be a bit of a luck of the draw. So, to show you what I mean, um, this is a, a PNG image, you can see there, uh, this diary. If I select that and open it, Easy Sketch Pro will give a uh, a preview of how it sees the image in vector format and you can see that's actually uh, a pretty good rendition of the diary. Um, you can try, if it's not very good over here, you can try adjusting uh, the noise range and the level of detail here with these slider bars. Um, if you change them uh, you can update the preview image, you can see that's actually uh, not very good at all. Uh, it's made it worse. Uh, I find in practice that uh, adjusting these seldom has uh, much effect. Uh, either eSketch Pro is going to do a good job in the first instance or it won't. And, and You can play around with them but I, I don't generally have much success. Um, every time you play with these sliders you have to click update to update the preview. Um, if we click on done then we get our image in here uh, and if we draw it we can see that Easy Sketch Pro is doing a pretty good job on that one. Um, so it's interpreted the uh, file correctly. And it's quite a simple, quite a simple image. So generally the simpler the image, the more success Easy Sketch Pro will have. But if we took, for example, let's go back to our PC and let's take a more involved image like this clock, which is also a PNG image. Uh, if we open that, so you can see uh, the level of detail uh, is a bit sketchy so we've got sort of wavy lines and so forth but if we put it in like this and we press play we've got our diary which is pretty good and then we've got the clock which is you know it's it's doing an okay job but because of the level of detail in there it's not it's not perfect um, so if we delete those uh, also happens that I have in here uh, the vector equivalents of those files. So here's the diary and you can see this is an SVG document, a uh, vector image. Uh, if we load up that and we do done and we press play, you can see there is a, a greater level of detail being done because Easy Sketch Pro can interpret the image from the information in the vector file. Um, and if we now look at our clock Again, if we take the uh, vector image, the SVG image, open that, you can see it's got a bit more detail in there. And if we play, there's the diary. And you can see it's actually 
got all the various levels of detail in there, including all the dots. So it does a much better job uh, with F SVG files. Okay, having said that uh, SVG or vector images are the best ones to use in EasySketch Pro, uh, and they are, unfortunately not all uh, SVG files are created equal, and um, they, are, uh, they come in different flavors, if you like. So just having a, an SVG file that you've acquired from elsewhere um, and just loading it into EasySketch Pro may work or it may not work. Uh, it may turn out that it's not the right sort of SVG file. Um, but uh, all is not lost because you can convert SVG files of the wrong format into the right format for EasySketch Pro. And there's a video uh, inside the members area um, that shows you how to do that. If you go to Member Central and uh, Product Downloads and then go here to Easy Sketch Pro and then you scroll down here there's um, here uh, click here for help on converting images for use in Easy Sketch Pro if you click on that then there are two videos this first video here uh, will show you how to convert PNG files, uh, ping files, into SVG files uh, using a free program called Inkscape. So that's a useful tutorial. Uh, if you if you've got a PNG file and it's not being uh, translated correctly, if you like, by EasySketch Pro, <coughs> go and watch this video for how to turn it into an SVG. And the second video here is if you've got uh, inverted commas, the wrong sort of SVG. This will show you how to use uh, Adobe Illustrator to uh, turn it into the right sort of SVG file for um, EasySketch Pro. So do come here and look at those uh, Member Central downloads and in the EasySketch Pro area. Okay, so that's using uh, your own images in EasySketch Pro. Um, in the next video uh, tutorial, we'll talk about how you can use your own images to create your own gallery, galleries or categories inside the image library so that they become an integral part of EasySketch Pro.